Here, testing the SureFlow 100 PSI pump model 8000-912-288. This is a 100 PSI. Uh, I believe this one is Viton Seals. It is internal bypass head with pressure switch. This pump's designed to switch off, pressure switch off at 100 PSI. Typically, they will run anywhere over 75 PSI through a number three tip. You can run these through a larger tip, you'll get a little less pressure but more flow. Some people prefer that on low pressure pumps. Um, if you run it on a smaller than a number three tip, it's likely to cycle on and off. When it, you catch it cycling, you can adjust for that. It's about a 20% pressure adjustment. You can take up the correct size uh, Allen wrench, tightening it raises the pressure that the switch switches off at, decreasing the likelihood that it's going to cycle on and off. This pump runs just nice through a number three tip without having to adjust it. If we're running a number two tip, like on a hand tool and it was cycling on and off, you would just turn this clockwise so it stops cycling. This pump is actually running at 110 PSI through a number three tip. This pump is exceeding its, rec its expected spec. We ran this pump for about 30 minutes before we began this test just to make sure it didn't overheat and shut off or there wasn't any other situation with it. Uh, this, this pump is, is operating above and beyond what you would expect a 100 PSI pump to operate at. I can give you an example of how it sounds when it cycles on and off by turning this pressure down a little bit. And when it's doing that, the pressure is pulsating coming out of the tip. You just increase that pressure a little bit. Now you want to make sure that once it's running smooth, you want to make sure that when you let go of the handle, it's going to shut off. That you didn't raise it so high that it's going to continue to run even after you, and, and we'll simulate that just by disconnecting it. And it shut right off. Thank you.